In today's video, I'm going to give an honest review and explanation on the Meta Front End Developer Professional Certificate. This is a course offered on Coursera. And I'm going to take you through what to expect, how the course actually goes, and we'll look at the nine different modules inside this professional certificate to give you an idea as to what it's all about, talk about career outcomes, and then finally boil it down to whether it's actually worth it and who this may be very best for. Let's start with a big overview and talking through a few basics as to what a front-end developer actually does. Front-end development is primarily focused on the outward visitor facing aspects of a website. This is in comparison to backend development, which focuses on the behind the scenes work or full stack development, which blends the role of a front and backend developer and kind of has crossover in both. A front end developer's primary responsibility is to ensure that visitors interacting with a web page have a seamless and smooth online experience. To make this happen, they go through a variety of different skills and learning throughout their career and the common tasks of a front-end developer, which you may see in almost any job posting in this field, are up on the screen right now for you to look through. We'll talk through some of these and how the Meta Front-End Development course prepares you to nail these tasks. One of the best aspects though about becoming a front-end developer is the career field at this moment. The job outlook is fantastic with the Bureau of Labor Statistics projecting a 23% growth over the next 10 years, which is well above average in many other fields. The estimated pay range in this field also corresponds with these strong job growth numbers. This is a well above average career in terms of pay, both starting at around $67,000 median, which can get you around 85,000 depending on where you live and where you work from, and then late career, which well over six figures should be expected. With that being said, Let's talk specifically about the Coursera Professional Certificate. I wanna let you know that this is a beginner certificate. You should be able to walk in with a general computer literacy, but no specific coding experience, and be able to have success with time, studying, and a bit of applying yourself. This course is taught by the Meta staff and should take you about seven months to finish. Now, one thing to know about this timeline is because it's completely self-paced, and you pay $49 a month for every month that you're enrolled in the course, you may want to speed it up and try to complete this a little bit faster to save yourself some money. This seven month timeline is estimated with about six hours of studying and working through the course per week. Compared to the other online courses out there, it has a fantastic 4.7 out of five star rating on about 5,000 reviews. So this being said, if you decide to enroll in the course, and we'll talk through the details in the next section, what will your learning outcomes be? Taking this course will prepare you for a few specific outcomes. You will learn the basics of coding and building specific web pages in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You're gonna learn some really in-demand design skills to create professional pages using software like Figma, React, and Bootstrap. And finally, I appreciate the way this course was built because you'll actually finish by getting interview tips, soft skills, and ways to answer technical questions when you're sitting down in a job interview. To help you get that first interview, you also get access at conclusion of the course to over 200 companies who are specifically committed to hiring from courses like these in a partnership with Meta. Inside this professional certificate, there are nine different courses. Each course may take a few weeks to go through before you progress to the next, and they all build off each other in some way. Course one is an introduction to front-end development. You'll walk through how to use HTML to create a simple but responsive web page, including text and images. In course two, you'll hop into JavaScript, and you'll look at objects, arrays, and variables to create online interactive experiences, and through learning the basics of JavaScript, you actually get to practice your new skills using some self-assessments before finishing this course. Course four is a deep dive into HTML and CSS. Course five and six will be all about React, starting with the basics and then transforming you into a little bit more of an advanced learner. You'll get step-by-step -step instructions that will give you the ability to build a full app in React by the time you're done. Course seven is all about user experience and design. Here, you'll have an opportunity to have some fun learning about Figma, 
which you can use for visual editing and graphic design. By course eight, you'll start working on your capstone project, which combines all the prior elements that you've learned in the previous seven courses. This is a capstone project that you can put as little or as much effort into as you like. However, I'd suggest putting a lot into it because you can actually save this and use it in your portfolio when you go off to interviews. And then finally, what I talked about before, course nine wraps everything up by teaching you some soft skills and giving you professional interview prep tips. So there's a lot to consider when deciding whether to spend your time and money enrolling in this. Let's talk about if it's worth it. In my opinion, this is all about your perspective. If you are a beginner, whether that's a high school student, college student, or someone looking to switch into a career, and you find the basics of this type of career appealing, the design, the experience, the ability to apply yourself and create, but also problem solve, if you've got those tools and you've got some of those skill sets yourself, you could be very good, and this could be a great course for you. I wanna warn you that while it is a good top to bottom course, this professional certificate is not going to solve all your problems in just seven months of completion. You still won't be on par with someone who took a four year computer science degree at a decent university just by taking this course. You won't automatically get a job, although it could give you a bit of a leg up depending on the story you're able to tell in the interview process. What success in the field of front end development comes down to though is a combination of a few specific factors. To get in the door in this industry, projects and professional experience are going to be your two best friends. This is not something that this course can replace. However, it is a great place to start learning and increasing your value in interviews. You can use a site like GitHub to take the capstone project in this course, host your project, and start building more projects off there. Now you've got a library of work that you've done. If you combine this professional certificate from Meta with work ethic, a willingness to learn, and an ability to develop more projects showing off your skill set, you're gonna put yourself in a position to succeed. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts about this course and the advice you would give to new front-end developers looking to advance their career. Thanks for watching and have a great day.